Hi, everyone. I'm Scott Hoke. Welcome to highlighted coverage of the Mecham Glendale auction from State Farm Stadium. Here's a 65 Mustang total pro build custom JK and the bidding going according to plan 250,000 at the moment. Well total pro build and not only that but how about built by the Roadster shop has to be one of the top custom car crafters on the planet. 265 Neil. I'll do that for you. Yeah. Yeah. 265. Yep. That's the proper motion. Frank Meekham's son, Dana Meekham's grandson, following in the family footsteps. Well, J.K., you predicted it had to be 300 grand, so at 265, that's a heck of a bargain, yes? Yeah, yeah what I said was anything under 300,000 is a great buy. Yeah. So, absolutely. This is the pinnacle of the Corvette world right now today. Uh, 2023 Z06, 70th anniversary convertible. It's got so much all wrapped into one package here. Right, and that color is a specific color. White pearl is not available on a non-70th anniversary. So right now, this is the absolute top trim level available in a C8 Corvette. And there goes the reserve. Okay. This car is going to sell. Wow. Way oh, past 100 grand yeah, over. Right. Still like 135 over right now. Yep. Boom, and as we mentioned it. yesterday, $275,000 hammer price. As we mentioned yesterday, yep. the Z06, never mind the 70th anniversary, that Z06 is Motor Trend's performance vehicle of the year. This is some rare air here in Glendale. This is a 1968. Yanko Camaro. Supposedly 64 Yanko Camaros made in 1968, put together in 68. This is one of 11 RSSS Yanko Camaros. You can see the current bid at $225,000. Incredible. Uh, Yanko Chevrolet started with SS 396s. They installed the L72, 425 horsepower, 427 in 68. Keep in mind, in 69, they were able to get that engine installed from the factory via the Topo program, but not in 1968. $325,000 and a half. Is that it? It is $325,000. 69 Yanko Camaro, 150 grand and going up quickly here. Not a surprise. L72 power, that is the aluminum intake manifold. Real deal Yanko Camaro here. And how about Rally Green as a color? Love it. All right, reserves off. We just hit $300,000. Went to 315, now we're at 320. So we have a classic bitter battle going on, Scott. Yep. Yo. $330,000 for that gorgeous 69 Yanko. Oh boy. 2005 Ford GT. What a sensation back in 2005 and has just gained in popularity. Supercharged 5.4 liter, 550 horsepower, mid engine mounted V8, Ricardo six speed manual transmission with a conventional clutch pedal and all four options. Stripes, Macintosh stereo, painted calipers, and those gorgeous BBS lightweight wheels. Reserves off. Oh, he did it. Got it done. So now here's the question. Will the internet come back into play? Will a live bidder jump back in? Or will the hammer drop on the very patient gentleman right there? Mm -hmm. no, he got it. And look at his hand clap. $340,000. Probably look at the... That's what it's all about, Scott. Yeah. Bill Stevens, what do you think about this car? It's a real one. It's a real Z06, one of 199 that were built in 1963. This car actually, I would say, 
was the groundbreaker for track cars, a car that you could buy from a dealer and with very little modification, take it to a racetrack and be competitive. Uh, these Z06s had the fuel injected engine, 360 horse, they're four speeds. Uh, we have tankers, 36 gallon uh, fuel tanks in Z06s and uh, well, you can see by just about any uh, level of judgment how perfectly the car is restored outside, inside, and all around. It's Sebring Silver, full hubcaps. Um, no squawking here. This is the real deal. There it is. A nice, firm handshake on a $355,000 Z06. Hey, how about the ultimate Mercedes-Benz SUV here, JK? Certainly in the running. It's a G63 4x4 squared from 2022. $400,000 bid. 85 miles on the odometer, Scott. So another brand new car, twin turbo, four liter V8 with a bunch of AMG goodies. That thing is massive. Reserve is off. Yeah. 435. Wowzers. 45. It's kind of a satin pearl sort of paint exterior with the black gloss black trim. Interior is a two-tone black and red. Hard to see through the heavy tin on those windows. I looked at it the other day. It's, yes. it's sweet. Yeah, you get it with all that white on the outside. You go inside and it literally change. You're like in a different world. There you go. Yep, we got it. Congrats. $445,000. 2018 Porsche 911. It's a GT2 RS. Oh, if you're looking at European high performance cars, this is a supercar by any standard. 700 horsepower, twin turbocharged, 3.8 liter, six rear mounted, of course. Seven speed PDK automatic. It's got less than a thousand miles. Special ordered in that color Miami blue. 50 asking for the reserve came off at a half a million dollars. Sold for 550. Oh, my say. There's a new sheriff in town, Professor Craven, for the time yep. being, anyway. And its name is 911 GT2 RS. $550,000. It is time now for the 1955 Mercedes Benz 300 SL Gullwing that we have all been so anticipating for a number of reasons. This car was in long-term ownership by the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum Foundation. Bought it back in 1973. It's been restored, and look at that. Middle Grün. In German, that means medium green. The only one in that particular shade of green in 1955. And the color just absolutely worked. Check out that inline six-owner engine, three liters. It's laid down towards the passenger side to be able to get that that relatively low hood down for aerodynamics. Plush, upscale interior, and a contrasting color. These were all four-speed manual transmissions. Gullwing's door is necessary because of that high sill, part of the monocoque construction that was so landmark for the time period. When you see one of these platforms with all the bodywork removed, it's really impressive. Some old pictures out there of the actual the assembly plant. You see the way they went yes. together, essentially hand-built. Very impressive. Internet is in on the bid at $1.3 million. If you've been to the Speedway Museum in the last five years, seven years or so, you may have seen this one on display on the museum floor. I'm talking about at Indy. 1.5 million. They're looking around the room again. The internet has the high bid. We know that will not take it. Correct. It might, take, it, it might take another hundred, couple hundred thousand. Who knows? We've got a little bit of breaking news. The Gullwing did sell just off the block 1.65 million. Is that correct? That's what I heard. John, okay. Yeah. 1.65 million. Okay. Sold. 
Well, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Meekum Accelerated. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Scott Hoke. So long, everyone.